hello let's look into area of an object and their formulas so there are variety of objects available around us and we need to identify the size area and also volume or capacity of the objects so let's see the first thing is like surface area of a cube surface area of the cube is nothing but first thing you should understand about this square for square the surface area is a square if it is the size is like if the width is a and the area of the square is a square so the for the cube we got six side so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 So a square plus a square a square a square six a square. So that's the answer. The surface area of the cube is six a square. So we'll see the lateral surface area of the cube. Lateral surface area of the cube is nothing but we need to remove the side end, two sides. So we know the total surface area of the cube is 6a square the area of top and bottom is reduced good so top and bottom is reduced so that the remaining area is 4a square in 6a square 2a square is gone so we got 4a square so that's referred to as lateral surface area of the cube So as I told, the surface area of the cube is six a square. We got the a is equal to four. So six into four into four, that six into sixteen. So the answer is ninety-six. The surface area of this cube is ninety-six. Now we got an option of cuboid. So for cuboid, cuboid is nothing but the same cube but the length and breadth and height is different. Whereas for the cube, the length, width and breadth of the object is same. So length, breadth and height is same. Whereas if it is different, then it's referred to as cuboid. For cuboid so the surface area of the cuboid is length into breadth plus breadth into height so it's 2 into lb plus bh plus hl that's your total surface area of the cuboid we have seen the surface area of the cuboid now we'll see the volume of the cuboid the volume of the cuboid is the product of the length breadth and height that's l into b into h that's your volume of the cuboid so this is how your cuboid is and the volume is the formula which is shown Okay let's move on to a small example of finding the volume of the cuboid so there is a lorry and its height is 2 meter and the width is 2.5 and the size is 4 meter now the question is what is the volume of the load carrying part of the lorry we need to identify so so height into length into breadth So 4 into 2.5 into 2. That's the answer is 20 meter cube. Let's move on to the curved surface area of the cylinder. So the curved surface area of the cylinder is the surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r is the radius of a circle. and it's of height h 
so 2 pi r is the area of the circle and it is of height h so 2 pi r into h the formula is 2 pi r into h let's move on to a typical example a cylindrical body of a fire extinguisher has the dimension shown in the diagram it's 20 cm and 60 cm so the body of the extinguisher is a cylinder with a radius of 10 cm and the height is 60 cm so obviously if the radius is 10 cm so the total width is 20 cm so the formula is a pi into r square into h pi r square h so pi into 10 square into 60 so the volume is 18 840 cm cube 